Hi and welcome. We're gonna try out Code and Game, a programming lab for problem solvers. It's supposed to be in, you know, in-browser game development ID integrated development environment, and it supposedly is cool and advanced, but also hard. And we're just gonna go through the tutorial. So this is our IDE integrated development environment, and we have a game window there. We have some kind of uh, info text. And we have console output. If, if we tell our program to tell us numbers, for example, they can go in here. And on the right, we will have our code area. All right, so now this text area, this info area, there we have a mission statement. So our mission now is to modify the code, which we hardly see there, so that our program destroys the enemy ships by shooting at the closest enemy and not a random one uh, during each turn. First I get enemy 1 and enemy 2 objects and also the distance as dist1 and dist2 variables as a number I guess. And at the end of a loop I'm supposed to output enemy 1 or enemy 2, which either is a variable name or a string actually, we'll see. So let's keep going. And this is quite crazy. Uh, we get to choose different languages. Well obviously this is for learning languages. And we're gonna go with C++ because that's what the, the real game programmers use, right? Right, so let's go get through the code here. We, inc we include input-output stream, whatever. Uh, we use the namespace standard. Uh, I have no idea what that is. We have init main. Okay, this is our main function. I assume this is the game loop. No, actually no, it's not. This is the main function. It, it's get, it gets started when the program starts and then we have the main loop which is while forever. So this repeats infinitely. And we have, uh, what do we have? We have a string enemy, then we have some kind of magic going on. But in any case, what we have to do is type the code in there. So into C output we put enemy1 and then end1 if the distance of enemy1 is great, is tinier, so if it's closer than the distance to, to enemy2. And if they are at the exact same distance, enemy2 will be chosen. So now we play the test case. And it runs. I wonder if that was a video though or actual processed code. So we press the submit button. Ugh. Damn, these login forms are annoying. But you can use a temporary email like 10 minute mail or something. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Please like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorial. Ciao!